Welcome to Graph Tutorials, I'm Shiva. In this video we're going to have a quick look at the compound path and how to use it to distribute your gradients. So a quick video about compound paths. Um, a compound path makes you have multiple objects and if you make a compound path of it, Illustrator sees it as one and then you can handle it as one object and it's mostly also very handy with gradients. Now I'm going to show you if I select all these objects and I press Ctrl or Command G, I will make it into a group. Now the difference here is that you see this gradient, all the objects get the gradient, but all the objects get the gradient separately. So the gradient isn't distributed across all the objects, it's just Every object gets a gradient, the same gradient as the other ones, but also the same way um, the gradient is composed. So they all start left with, with white and they go to black. Now if you ungroup, ungroup, and I select them all and I press Ctrl or Command 8, that makes it to a compound path. And as you can see immediately, the gradient is now distributed over all the elements. So not each element separately, but all the elements together. So the gradient acts also like that. It acts like a group and the gradient is displaced over all the objects together. Now you can do the same thing with text, but you have to expand your text first otherwise the compound path doesn't work and then you go to object and you choose expand and now you have one object one compound path can be made so you can do object and then compound path make or control command 8 and then here just the same, I'm going to choose another color. And also here the color, let's take fading sky. As you can see, it's distributed across the entire text. So that's a really quick video about the compound path. Um, maybe if you're interested, I'll make uh, more extensive video in the future but for now compound path makes separate objects into one combined object and um, it's useful when you're using gradients and you want a gradient to be distributed across all of them and if you're doing it with a text if you want to make a text into a compound path be sure to go to object and expand your text first so that was it for this video i hope you liked it be sure to let me know in the comments below press the thumbs up button if you did and maybe also press the subscribe button with a little bell icon if you want to see more and for now stay creative and i hope to see you in the next one